scheduled for one fall. One fall. Four way match <laughs> from the Young Dragons. First and only time you'll ever see this match. It's a fatal four way here, and I'm joined once again by Nick Manawal. As we were saying earlier, this is a match where we both we both have history with all four men in this match. First time ever, last time ever, the Battle of the Young Dragons four-way. Who the hell's coming out to this badass banger by Creed? It's gotta be Dale Patrick, right? <laughs> of course it's Dale Patrick. Battle of Los Angeles. Alternate, there you go. Which to me is um, 
Really? An alternate? Ace Berry? This should have been his fourth or fifth bola, but nevertheless. And now it's time for the fourth man of this match, a man I know very well, who you booked me as his manager at EPW, and who I've had a relationship with for several years. By far the most bizarre wrestler here at Bizarro Lucha. Gathering a mean streak by taking off the mask of several luchadors and has gained nothing but losses since stepping foot here in Bizarro Lucha, but has done everything he's wanted to do by disrespecting the wrestlers he shares the ring with. Trip Cassidy. Staring at each other, wondering who's gonna flinch first. Now I'm seeing Josh Crane over on this side of the room. You can definitely tell he's lost some LBs ever since that Japanese tour. Looking in some good shape as Josh Crane. Look at this fatal four way, man. This is the heart of Indianapolis. Every single valve going into that beating heart that is Indianapolis Pro Wrestling is in that ring right now. And these fans are about to see that heart get broken as the Lucha Dragons come together for the first and last time ever. Down, but Ace Perry. He's in the ropes. And Tope Suicida. That did not take long at all. Another one. Ace flies again. This young man ready to die at any moment. He is no soul. And he is fearless, peerless. He is Ace Perry. Oh! Oh! Hey, over the top. Off the top, rather. Ace Perry, the only wrestler who can never seem to wear enough clothes to take off. Right. This young man is loved by everybody in Indianapolis, especially since his bonding with Effie a few short months ago. Back in the ring with Trip Cassidy. Oh, oh he might have tweaked the, he might have tweaked his leg. Trip Cassidy taking advantage of it, going for a buckle bomb. Oh, buckle bomb. Man, I Gnarly thought he was about, about to get dropped on the back of his head there, man. Wall. Two guy, one bomb. Hits it with perfection. Ouch. Ace Perry's gonna feel that in the middle. Oh, but here comes line. Dale. This is only a one fall match. Oh, Dale. Going for the waist lock here. Right with the waist lock. Dale knocks him off with that elbow, and now Trip comes to the middle of the ring. Comes on the outside. Now, Josh Crane and Trip Cassidy in the ring. A lot of history between these two. Having a war at Infinity Pro only five years ago where the, where the Dragons were broken up as Trip Cassidy showed an alliance with Horror Show. Meanwhile, Josh Crane kept on to, uh, the, Luch to the Young Dragons. Calling for the handshake. Are we going to see it? Trust me. I don't know. I wouldn't trust either one. I mean, I wouldn't trust Trip Cassidy, especially not here in Bizarro Lucha. Oh, standing Larry. Yeah, Crane learned a thing or two about keeping his sturdiness up over in Japan. Crane said, I've changed, Trip. I've changed. He's not that sweet boy that he was before. Oh, the strap's down. Can't hit him hard enough. Here comes Josh Crane with that big shot. Trip goes through. Oh, wing attack. Line, takes yeah. down Crane. Big one sends never say die. Josh Crane down to the canvas, and now Trip scoops him up. Cassidy puts him off. He to the sand. Rolling elbow takes him now. Pops him. Perry! Swat on! As Perry picked a spot, very smart maneuvering to get back in the ring and break up that pinfall. 
He's feeling the effects from that leg, though. He keeps shaking it off. He keeps trying to shake some life into it. I don't know what he injured it on. Well, don't tell what could have possibly happened to Maze Perry. He's over the outside like seven times. Going for that sunset flip. No, oh, oh, into him. Now it's just Ace Perry and Josh Grant in the ring together. Paso grabs the line, throws him into the buckle, super kick oh. to the back of the head. That's right, right into that ring. On the back, rolling through, going for that cold breaker. Oh. Ace Perry is a machine. He is unstoppable. He is that guy. And every single company he works for, everywhere that he steps, he's the one that takes to show up several notches. Oh, hangs on. Paso follows him in. Going for the big chuck slam. Choke slam! Now Cassidy in the ring here with uh -oh, Dale Patrick. Uh -oh. The two most deranged men in this match. Oh, falling! Choke oh. slam there from Dale. No love lost between these two. Oh! Big boot right to the face of Dale Patrick from Trip Cassidy. Oh! And a big super kick out of the corner there. Follows him through, stomps his face right into the corner there. Six one nine. Or is it an eight one two? Yeah, he won two. No! Drop kick right to the face of Dale Patrick's. Trip standing, the last man standing in the ring right now. All the young dragons are down. But the Carney stands tall. Oh, I see that mask that Dale brought out. It's the Kira Tatsu mask. That was Trip Cassidy's first ever persona in professional wrestling. Did not know that, but go figure. Is Trip about to disrespect him by putting that mask on him? Putting the Akira mask on, Dale Patrick's. What's Trip gonna do here? Cassidy made his debut across town at the Fountain Square Auditorium. Now Dale trying to pull himself back up. Oh, what a slap to the face. Trip Cassidy with all the disrespect in the world for his fellow dragon. Oh, watch his head. I think I called him a Lucha Dragons earlier. I meant Young Dragons. Anybody watching at home? <laughs> They're like, hey, you fucking idiot. Everybody's going to be tweeting me later. Nice call, Mark. <laughs> oh, he's going for Don't Be a Hero? I don't know the last time he broke this one out. Don't Be a Hero. No, pushes him off. Grabs the kick. Here's your teeth. No. Back hands ring over the ace. Cut out. Ace Perry back in control here, but doesn't realize Josh Crane's up behind him. Pop up! Unbelievable from Josh Death Crane. Valley Driver! Keeping the pace here. Into that super kick right to the face! Come for that earthquake! Cena sit on! Oh, and they crush him with it! Throw all the air out of his lungs, did Josh Crane. Young Dragons are all down right now, and these fans trying to will him back up. Trip now climbing up top. I don't know who he's aiming for, though. He could go for Crane on the apron. He can go for Perry over there, but here comes Dale. I think Trip's going for anything that moves right now. Oh, he's against that post. We've got to be careful here. Trying to scoop trip up. Jockin here, for position. Oh, oh, oh! Slugs him right in the dust. Oh, oh, he spit in the man's face. No, trip now going up. Oh, oh, oh! Pulls him off, drops him almost right on the top of his head. Cassidy drops down to the canvas now, and it looks like Crane is now coming over trying to grab a hold of Dale. Oh, clotheslined him down. What's Big Perry gonna do here? Shot. Oh, the top with the super kick. Perry now could be thinking that Warriors way. Double side stop. Oh my God! Yeah. Oh, Cassidy now back in control. Goes for a pinfall. Only a two. Ah! 
you owe me a coke. Too late. I already got you. No, no, no. Can we think of that running clothesline? Yes! No! Oh, yeah! Send to the canvas shades of another, another American that went to Japan, Stan Hansen. Josh Crane stands tall here in the ring. Fast by! Suplex go over that seat and super! Right on the money and Ace Perry signature! Ducks the line! Ace Perry! With a big one there, Ace now up and over to the outside, goes over to Crane. Ace Cutter on Crane! Right on the apron, did Ace Perry get him? Now Trip Cassidy rolling back into the ring. What is Ace Perry gonna do here? Springboard! Ducks under, ducks the line off the second. Eight, no! Moonsault! Oh, his leg, his leg, his leg gave out! Oh, he's stepping on the foot! This is a disrespectful move from Trip Cassidy. Trip Cassidy's not even trying to out-wrestle his opponent, he's just trying to embarrass him, trying to treat him like they're garbage, and that's what Trip Cassidy's end game has been since stepping foot in the ring here at Bizarro Lucha. You know, the other two guys are down. Trip Cassidy could very easily end this match, but he wants to put some more punishments, some more pain on Ace Perry. It's not even about winning for Trip Cassidy, it's just about being the guy that knocks the other guys down. Going for that don't be a hero. Ace hooks it, what the hell is he gonna go for here? Kick, grabs it, DDT. DDT him right in the middle of the ring here, one, two. Oh, it, looked like he, it looked like he almost pulled him up Yeah, I was gonna that. say, I think, I think Trip just pulled Ace off the canvas. Like I said, not about winning here, man. Trip is just, Something's wrong with the guy. First time ever, last time ever, Trip Cassidy trying to make an impact and trying to show the other three dragons. That's what it's all about. Could be thinking of that tombstone. Driver Clover, nobody home. Grabs a hold. Headlock Driver, nobody home. Dragons. 
a moment right now, James. This is a moment that we're seeing. Never to be seen again. Oh. Oh. For a split second, I thought, oh, he's not going to do it. He's got Mountain News for everybody. What the fuck? 